So today's Friday and as we all know Fridays are for testing and today I'll be continuing testing my 12 beers in my Mena Hantasha. Uh, if you didn't watch the previous video, Mena Hantasha is men's handbag and it comes in this convenient box with a carry handle. The nice thing about the Mena Hantasha or the men's handbag, it's not like a women's Hantasha or a women's bag or Frauen Hantasha. It's well organized. Um, you can see you can easily find your your uh, your items that you're looking for. In this case, it's the 12 beers, and each item is uh, neatly packed. Uh, you can see the beers. Every second beer has this foam foam cover, so they won't get damaged. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it so far. This is the second beer that I'm testing. And I randomly grabbed this beer, and this is the Schloss Brau. Uh, it's in a brown bottle with a, a black um, black background and uh, gold writing. So uh, you can see over here, you've got the coat of arms, and it says uh, brewed since uh, 1686. So this is quite an established beer. It's been brewed in for for quite some time. Uh, it's a Pils beer, and then over here, you can see a picture of the the brewery. Uh, it's got some information about the beer. Uh, the alcohol content is 4.9% and it's a 33 uh, uh, milliliters bottle. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. It's got a nice emblem on the top of the, the bottle cap. And uh, enough about that, let's give it a go. So I'll be opening it again with my uh, Kaboom bottle cap opener. As I mentioned in my previous video, uh, it's one of my favorites. Although in the last video it didn't work so well. Uh, some bottle, bottles it doesn't work so well on, but uh, in general it works pretty well. Bang! You can see why that is my favorite bottle cap opener. It gives a nice bang. Although in this case it, it caused some problems with the bottle. So, as I explained in my previous video, I've listed all the beers and uh, I will, will be giving it a rating. So the, the lower the rating, the, the worse the, the rating is. So if it's a 1, it's a bad rating. And if it's a 5, then it's a, a good rating. So I'll be rating each beer from 1 to 5. And uh, at the end, I'll be ranking all 12 beers. So let's pour that into my testing glass. Okay, so Schloss Brau Original Pils, uh, you can see over here the first uh, item to, to rate it on is the, the look of the bottle, how it looks, uh, how the bottle looks, what the cap looks like, and I'm pretty happy with that. I really like the black and the, 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 the gold color together with the red emblem, so I will give that a uh, 4. Color and foam. Uh, I don't think you can really rank color because uh, this is a peel, so it's going to be a, a, a light uh, light beer. But also the foam is dissipating quite quickly, um, so I'll probably give this a I'll give this a, a, a three out of five. Um, the smell is quite hoppy. Um, I'll also give that a, a four, or oh, I'll give that a four. Um, when testing beer, it's not like testing wine. As I said in previous videos, uh, you, you're not really going to test the smell as you would with a, a wine. But, but anyway, as this is in the, the, the ranking over here, I'd like, to, uh, uh, I'd like to follow the same process that I did previously. Um, and then, most importantly, the taste. Uh, obviously, you want to have a beer that's tasting good. It's got quite a mild taste. Um, um, it's not really strong. You can taste a bit of the hops. I'll give that a two. So total uh, total points for this beer is uh, thirteen. So the previous beer that I, I tasted, this had a fourteen. Uh, maybe I'm ranking these beers too high, but this one over here has a 13 and when I test the next beer, I will um, 
uh, yeah, I will continue with the same process and uh, do, do the ranking at the end. But as usual, the true test is in the taste.